Welcome back, Blizzard Nation, to Strictly Blizzness, episode 25. Quarter century. Quarter century. We're a quarter of the way to 100. Yes. I'm not going to do the math there. <laughs> I just did it for you. Okay. One, one quarter of the way. It's not like the baker's dozen thing. No. no it's, got not, it's fractions. It's a more common it's thing. It's a fraction thing. That's true. One quarter. I do know what fractions are, so we're good 0.25. there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 25 cents. You're giving me your 25 cents <laughs> worth. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we be done. I'm wearing black for a reason. <laughs> so am I, actually. And I left the polo over on because I think I have the same polo on. So <laughs> You look like you're dressed for winter. It was cold in here. And then, yeah, it is cold in here. I think it's great in here. It's It's not. It's not? Oh, okay. <laughs> so now my sense of feel is off, too. Great. Great, great. Um, yeah, we're done. We're done for the season. Not it, with this episode, just with football. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, we are just done with football right. for the 2021 season. That feels like two years worth because it was the COVID. Yeah. And then 21. And we had a long season because we started in March. Yes. So it's been exhausting. True story. True story. <laughs> we did lose the game. We beat ourselves again. We made some very hefty mistakes. Yeah. We had some ref calls that were a little questionable, Questionable, guys. to say the least. Very questionable. <laughs> um, yeah, and we're done. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. We did yeah. have some shining stars, though. Trayvon Saunders. Yes, he's good. Had a good game. Yeah. Carry on more. I think he needs to get something from the league because <laughs> that man, he is like a little power machine. You know, he just... Like, what would they give him? I don't know. Some kind of an <laughs> like award. Like a gift basket? <laughs> Not a gift basket. Some award. I mean, okay. he, I just think he's a great player. Like edible arrangements? What <laughs> <laughs> is with you? No. A, right. An award. Not it, like a... It. Here's some cheese curds. No. No, not like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just think he's deserving of some sort of... Something. I don't even know what the categories recognition are Recognition is year. the wrong recognition. Those mostly. are coming out to, today or yeah, tomorrow, I think, I think get, the categories for team awards and football awards. Football and, awards go yeah. to coaches. Team awards come to front offices. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That should be exciting. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's we're done. We're done with football. And we have some things we have to retract from last week. Retraction, retraction. Um, I believe we said Iowa was like down in the ranks. You said something in regards to Yeah, Iowa. and they're yeah. actually in, they're the fourth yep, place seed. They are. And when you look at the rankings on the IFL website, it seems weird that there's not better records, but different records yeah. below them. But it's, they only played 11 games yeah. out of what the rest of us did. So we had the tiebreaker, IFL tiebreaker stuff that we went through. And just based on their strength of schedule and some other criteria, um, they they got fourth place. So, Julie, good luck on that home, yeah. uh, home game that you're going to be playing. So, yeah, all good. Yeah. We can unpack the well, playoff unpack seeds, the, the right? Seeds? Yeah. Sure. 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 What was cool going into that game, so – rewind to the beginning of the year there were some of us i think i was the only one go blizz yeah <laughs> there were some of us that only wanted four people four teams to go to the playoffs because it would be such a long season oh got it because you know and then everybody whined and cried and so they didn't whine and cry they all <laughs> felt it would be more competitive better if we did eight teams okay and so we we all you know said sure let's let's do eight, and that was the exciting part of that last game, yeah. right? I mean, we had sixteen different scenarios that could turn out for seeds, basically four through eight. Four through eight, yeah. Yeah, I mean, one, two, and three were seeded. Yep. Um, but even in that, if you looked at us as 12, um, 12 teams, there were 22 scenarios going into that Yikes. last week. Yeah. Because even though we knew who the top three were, we didn't know how they were going right. to fall. Right, who, who would be the one seed. Right, yeah. and we had said Spokane was in there, and they weren't. Right. Iowa had moved into yep. it. So, so, yeah, Arizona has number one. Yep. 
And number two goes to Massachusetts. Yeah. Which I'm sure Frisco does not like, <laughs> but it is what it is. Frisco's number three. Number four is Iowa. Number five. We can cheat. Can we look? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Duke City. I should Duke know City. this. Duke yeah. City is number five. Um, Spokane. Yeah, and Spokane came in then as number six. Then we have Bismarck and then and Sioux, Sioux Falls. Falls. So Sioux Falls is going to be going to Arizona yeah. this upcoming weekend, which was a United Bowl not that long ago. Yeah. Two years ago. Well, three three years ago? It I, was in 2019. No, because that was Iowa. No. No, that was... Wait. No, that, that was Sioux Falls. And the year before was Iowa. I don't know. No, because <laughs> Iowa won... I don't remember the last time I saw one was in Arizona at the hockey building. I'm pretty oh, sure. True. So that would have been 2019. Okay, we're gonna Arizona. need to do a little research on no, that. No, that was it was Arizona Sioux Falls. Cause remember they rostered Chris Dixon. Right. Yes. So okay. Right. Yep. And then 2018 would have been the year Iowa beat Sioux Falls in their own building with the Tyrell Pearson right. deflecting a pass in the stands. Right. Yes. Okay. Ooh, feel better. Yes. That was a lot of work for yep. a Monday morning. Ooh. Yep. Go Blizz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday evening. I'm a lot sorry. of work for a Tuesday, Tuesday evening. Tuesday <laughs> evening, because we're live. We are live from <laughs> when I say Big Bark. Oh, I say Wolf, and now you know our secret. Okay. <laughs> yes. True. Yes. It should be exciting playoffs, though. It will be. I, You know, with all of, as you say, shenanigans of the season. I never use that word. Go ahead, though. Do we need to count on that? Because I'm sure someone can get that for us. Um, I'm not sure he wants to go back to 24 no, I'm episodes. No, sure he doesn't. <laughs> but the, all of the things that have happened, it, it was good football to watch. Right. Regardless of what teams you were watching. So is there still a game of the week? And that's not a loaded question. I just don't know. Is there? Right? There's still a game yeah, of the week in the playoffs? Yeah, there has to be. Yeah. Okay. During the playoffs. And then will the championship game have to fall on a Saturday or will stadium no. adjust to air the championship that, game? That I don't know. Okay. I mean, I'd have to do some okay. checking with the team, quite honestly, because every scenario that I've heard of for a, Sunday a home championship, is a right? Sunday yeah. game. So yeah. I don't know if that means we go back to YouTube or if stadium's going <laughs> to... Stadium's supposed to, to show it. Right. So I would think right. they're going to switch it up right on. based on what we have available. Are you going yeah. to that game? The championship game? Um, I can't. Okay. I got a kid that's starting college and all Minor that good detail? stuff. You know, some personal <laughs> stuff going on. Um, not starting college, but going back right to on. college. So um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get away that weekend. Got it. But me, having it on a Sunday makes it intriguing because maybe I could. Sure, back get end away. of all the right. weekend of drop off and right. stuff. It'd okay. be one thing if it was a Friday night game, then I'd know. Right. No way. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what we'll game see. are you most excited for in the first round? Uh, you know, that's loaded because I'm excited for the Arizona game. Okay. I, I, I think that's good. But as you get further down the seeds, there's some good competition. Um, I think watching Arizona and Sioux Falls duke it out because I have so much respect for both of those coaches. Right. That's probably the game I'm going to concentrate on. That one... I mean, that's I'm obviously on my list. There's only four games to choose from, yeah, but like, it's not uh, like you're loaded, right? Up. But like, just Kevin is steamrolling right now. So for I'm more, I guess I'm excited to watch the four and five, Duke City and Iowa. Um, yeah, Duke City's I, on a roll. And I respect Riggs just as much, and again, I, I've learned a lot from Todd when he owned the team and stuff. So I I respect Sioux Falls. I just they're in trouble. <laughs> Kevin is steamrolling right now. And Drew Powell is playing out of his mind football. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I'd i love to say, you know, if we were in conferences, yeah. then we got to be rooting for Bismarck. But right. when they beat us four times, it's yeah. hard for me to do that. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. It'll I'm be good excited. to watch, though. It'll be fun. Yeah. So yeah. tune in this weekend. There's still yep. plenty of IFL football this weekend, next weekend, and, and past Labor Day. Right. So, and it's yeah. getting tougher and tougher. So I need to tell you some of the, some of our refing situations are because our normal refs have left the building 
Why? Yeah. They got college football that they're doing. Yep. Um, they have high school football in their local communities that they're already starting to right. do. So we're just so late. We're too late um, in in a season. We've got yeah, the NFL think, playing. Yeah, I think I've, I've had some calls with people throughout the league in the past couple of weeks, and I think people kind of realized that you and I were fully aware of, and people are like, oh, Green Bay doesn't want games just because of warm weather. This is a problematic time frame. Right. period right when you take yeah. nfl high school everything else like we belong in the window when other stuff isn't going on which is march to july right. with championship game that's how yep. indoor football started yep. it was it was filling arenas at yep. a specific time where nothing was in there right uh so yeah i 100 percent agree with right. you right 100 percent. speaking of so. arenas on ours, we talked about it last episode. We will have, it's not up there, but Big Bark will have photos of it. The Bud Light Cave. Yes. New this year. Is there going to be like stones around it, like a cave? No, 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 there will not be stones, nor an inflatable cave or anything like that. And why are we calling it a cave? Because it's in a corner. <laughs> why can't I mean, we, we moved it, it so we, we thought it, it was going to be. That is, that's not as cool, I guess. The. Like it was gonna be by our visiting bench, now it's gonna be by our bench and on the sideline more. So um, it'll be a, basically a field level suite with a beer, soda, water inclusive price, much like the party pit. Bookable only for groups. So you can't, it's not, that's the point to give corporate groups a chance to have the party pit type feel without having the chaos of the party pit. So Without having the cups Pyramid. They can still beer mid if they want okay. in their own little Bud Light cave area. So, uh, and they also get a really cool, and I will help Big Bark put a picture up of it, uh, collector's cup as part of booking that too. Nice. So it is, it's the most premium ticket we will have, uh, and it'll be really cool. So the suites are awesome, and you can speak to that, but the appeal of indoor football is being down on the field. So this is essentially a field level suite. And it'll take some of the expense of at least beer out of the mix if you want to cater and all that jazz you still can down there. But it's again, it's wristband inclusive where your guests can do beer, water, soda kind nice. of on their own. So, so they they get what you just said, yep. and they're and they're right next to the bench. They are. Which is, I mean, there's some separation. Could be good or bad. There's some separations. A part of that is we slid the bench a little bit more over to give the guys more space. But yeah, you are. If that gives Blizzard goers. A visual of where it is. It's in our home bench type area on the sideline there. It kind of took the first couple rows, pushed them back. Yeah, the and then that's where it's going to be. In that area there. Yeah. Yep. How many people will it hold? So it, the, we're going to have it as up to 40. So it'll be more than a larger suite up there. There is um, per code, we can go more than that. You just end up paying um, a per head after that and just realize that you're even at more standing room only. To the yeah, wall type environment, to right? Kinda, yeah. So you know, it's cool because we can when the group books it, you can configure it how you want, right? So you could, let's say you get twenty five, you can set pub tables and chairs or your catering table. So it's up. just your group. Yep. So whoever it's first come first serve. If yep. they only have twenty, you right. don't sell the other twenty. Correct. To somebody else. Yeah, we won't let a group in. There's a well, set I think price you're leaving that includes up table. to. You're leaving money on the table. Well, it's maxed what if my out. group? What if my group is six? Then you pay the full price, even though you're not using the oh, 40 tickets. Oh, there's the catch. <laughs> yep. Okay. So like a suite, you're paying the you're entire amount. You're paying a amount. flat amount, yes. You, can all, yep. you could go down there with two people if you want. 100%. If but that's... you paid for 40. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do the math on that. Right. So it'll be a lot of fun. So we're excited to see. Um, and there's, the, to your point, it'll be first come, first serve. There's really six dates available because part of the Dean distributing deal is they get to take that thing for a test drive because... Nice, they as they should. Involved, they got involved in it when we weren't able to do it. Um, and so we're going to give them that this year. And probably one of the first couple games so we can get their feedback as the person who named it and stuff, too. Yeah, so, they should. Yep. So if you know someone at Dean, contact them. Yeah, <laughs> to go in it the first ever. But yeah. otherwise, as soon as we launch it, which I'm guessing is in the October window, um, we'll start taking reservations because we hopefully shortly after that and you would know more than i would we have dates but we'll start taking we'll, we'll create a waiting list even before we have dates probably yeah the idea with everything is that laas are supposed to be in september one usually we have league meetings right around yeah. that time but we're going to be still playing, playing football. Yep. uh so we've moved the league meetings away from the united bowl game to the end of september which you're going to be hearing an announcement not 
in the not too distant future. That's really close to free agency of October one. Yeah, yep. That was a spoiler alert. Um, and so stuff is gonna shift. Sure. sure. Schedules still hoping for that October one. People have their dates in. Yep. We just need LAAs. We're hoping to be working on a on finalizing yeah. a schedule at those league meetings. Cool. Um, at the end of September, so it's not going to be that long, and you're going to hear the I schedule know. for next year. Yeah. So. Yeah. I did hear too, like, and I guess it was in all the playoff mix. Is it's either today or tomorrow, based on we're filming this, is uh, the uh, name announcement for LA in the next day here or something, or for um, Vegas? Yes, that's okay, coming cool. up. Right on. Yes, I'm excited to see that. I'm really that excited. one's really excited for me. The stuff that's happened this year. That's an NHL team involved in our league now. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's Vegas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. I've been pro Vegas till COVID. Then I was like, no Vegas. <laughs> uh, but Vegas is starting to, or was starting to, open up. And once we have Vegas in, yeah, now we have opportunity galore. And we are hoping for next year to have conferences. Yeah. So we'll we'll be kind of, I, I would say we would split down the center. Yeah. And we'd have an east and a west. Sure. I'm okay with playing them out of conference. You know, if you yeah. have one <laughs> one or two games out right. of conference, I'll take Vegas. That's fair. I might be gone a week, but. <laughs> so who do we gain slash, who do we gain or regain? Columbus on our side of the division? Columbus, um, Quad Cities okay. will come back. Cool. Massachusetts, obviously, they're way out there. They're an outlier. I'm but assuming to get us. enough, we would, Bismarck and Sioux Falls would far out, fall our way, right? They would. Yeah, yep. They would. Because you have two California teams coming back. Yep. You'd have um, Vegas. Obviously, you have a couple Arizona teams. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Massachusetts is way out our way, but yes. Right. We'd, yeah. Get, yeah. we'd get kind of on an angle. Yeah. I got the it. North. Cool. Yeah. Stuff to look forward to. It It is. It is. It's exciting. And... You know, we're going to continue this throughout yeah. the off season. As so. long as Big Bark will have us. <laughs> okay, so we looked that way and he also looked that way. So <laughs> there you have it. Well, as of right now, we will continue to do this uh, throughout the off season. And if they kick us out, well, then I guess Zooms are back. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, then we're going to have this going. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do that. So anyway. Okay. Any other, any new shout outs that we should do or people we should talk about? Um, kids Dental. We always need to talk about Kids Dental because they're such an important part of yes. what we do. They will show up on most of the football designs you guys will see coming. Um, bunch of new partners, but we'll give them their proper spotlight on the way in. We'll try and do a partner introduction much like we did during the COVID times where you're introducing new partner signings excellent um yeah so there's a bunch more coming so it's cool to have new businesses involved and a handful of them already so so do you think our next show will have some new merch that we can show i don't know put up? i have no idea we don't have anything created yet if that's what you're asking that's kind of what i'm asking oh. but <laughs> never mind the football clock is kind of absorbing me right now. So I know. <laughs> I and it really shouldn't. We're weeks. supposed to be past all this. Yeah. But yeah. the football moving back. He's not talking football playing. Yeah. He's talking ordering. actual ordering yeah. of footballs. We have to get those in by Monday, right? Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a long week. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. I heard they brought <laughs> pink back, though. That was on there. Just there was a a misrepresentation of the email I was given. So oh. <laughs> thankfully Todd provided that as on his list as a color we can use. So I'm going with what Todd said. And so I don't know that we're going to use pink though. I don't know. Yeah. It depends on the theme. So not as an all ball, not as at all, but on the panel we could potentially. Mm. No. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Fair enough. <laughs> what else you got? Do you have a, a good weekend? We didn't even talk about our weekends. Yeah. I don't remember much of what we did. Oh, I had a bunch of soccer. Caden soccer friends stayed over, so that was an adventure. So nice. We gave the it was like six of them. We gave the shout downstairs at eleven to wrap it up, and then one a.m. Kirsten, no, three a.m. Oh, did they sleep <laughs> she, till noon? No, some of them were out by eight. Some of them were up at ten, and they went home yeah, and we slept learned all a day. Lesson. Yeah, yes. yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, no electronics. All you got. Right. You'll you'll figure that out. Yeah. That's pretty good for that age group though. Three a.m. Yeah. Couldn't have been all of them. Had to be just uh, a couple. I don't know. I I was I was awake or asleep. I mean, <laughs> I'm still asleep apparently. Um, yeah, she was the one that was angry at three a.m. So it gets yeah. to a point where you're like, okay, I've had enough now. Yeah. That's yeah. enough. Yeah. Yep. No. I, I'm right there with her. We, yeah. Her and I are a lot alike. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I would have lasted until 3 a.m. Especially um, if I didn't have stuff to and do. And then I don't remember what transpired. Oh, we went to the circus on Sunday. The There's, water one at Bay Park. Circus Italia was in town. What's All that? the tents were up at Bay Park. And it was incredible. It was amazing. I had shared I right. I shared it. right after I went and said, if you can go to the 430 or 730, go. Because it was incredible. It was really cool. They have animals there? No, like the trapeze performing aerial stuff. The is that what they daring... they put that tent up? Oh yeah, the tents took oh, over the Bay Park parking okay. lot. Yeah, it was really it was really cool. Like uh, America's Got Talent type stuff. So there was danger acts with archery and stuff, and it was insane. So I remember before COVID, I saw it in the parking lot, yep. and everybody was like, "Oh, Cirque du Soleil is in town." Yeah. And I'm like, "No, it was a different one. It was, was at Cirque." Italia or something yeah. and they were it was water effects during all of it too so it was really cool interesting yeah it was awesome that's cool. that I did on Sunday yes oh good <laughs> yeah that's good it's a good weekend yeah good counting week. them down before school so <laughs> I know I yep. know I got one that starts this week and she's not too happy about it even though it's her <laughs> senior year she goes back tomorrow. So last night at midnight, I said, you know, kiddo, you might want to start getting on that school schedule because <laughs> yeah. this is not school schedule. No. But, no. Yeah. She's got first hour study hall and oh. then senior, you can get out of school eighth hour. Got it. One of those. So she can go in late <laughs> and leave early, but yeah. she's earned it. She's, you know, she's, I think she's a 4.0 student or pretty darn close. So That's awesome. You know, she's... We're now in the hunt for which college. Sure. So that's a lot of fun. Yeah, so I can imagine. <laughs> we were booking tours, or she was booking tours Saturday night. Tons of fun. <laughs> so you're going to ask me what I did this weekend? No. Okay. Goblet. What did you do this weekend? I went water skiing. Nice. I actually got up. Um, I wasn't sure what was going to happen with the tailbone. <laughs> Normally, I only slalom, but I decided go to skis, Kathy, because... Mm, when I, okay? I was putting my foot behind me. I was like, yeah, that's a tailbone <laughs> thing. I'm going to save slaloming for Labor Day weekend. <laughs> I, it went okay. It went great. And more importantly, Helen was the one that pulled yeah. me skiing and she did a great job. Awesome. So it was a win. I think it was a win-win. So good. Sounds like a good weekend. It then. was. It was a good weekend. It was nice and relaxing. And now we're back at work. Yeah. Yeah. So. Back approving football designs. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> all right. I think that's all we got, right? I do believe that is it. So watch watch the games this weekend. Yes. Still participate um, in go to Go IFL. Check out everybody's uh, games. There'll be a game on stadium. There'll be games on YouTube. Yeah. You can get the stadium game on YouTube if that works better for you. If you're sick of hearing the stadium commercial break, that <laughs> god awful noise that they have. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to put that on as like a crickets thing. I, I warned Todd, I'm bringing that when no one's talking yeah. at the league meetings. Oh, I'm going to play. I'm going to bring my big bows <laughs> and I'm going to play it from somewhere in the room and nobody's going to know yeah, who's right. playing it. They'll be thrilled. Yeah. Anyway. Should we just, hit him with it? Yeah, let's hit him. All right. Go Blizz. Go Blizz. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, and ring that notification bell to get all of our content in your inbox. Yeah.